we all daydream creating narratives in our heads as to how things are going to pan out. Reality often differs. My first time as a PhD student in the AMU for example, I was accompanied by this nurse to do a news call on a patient. Whilst I was checking the patient's blood pressure, the patient remarked how gentle I was with her. I was smiling from ear to ear. Then suddenly, the nurse chimed in and said, you'll change. It was interesting to me because looking at her, she was probably in her old days, early 50s and she had been in the NHS for a while. So when she said that, I thought to myself, what does she mean is going to change? What has she seen? I think in a way you can liken it to the way physician associates are seeking for progression in the sense that the things that now they might consider mundane were things that they previously enjoyed but then as time passes it becomes mundane and i think that nurse was right if i look at my first few weeks on the amu and myself during my last weeks as a physician associate those were two completely different humans i still try to make my clinical skills facilitate this proud but smiling from one ear to the other is no longer there it's just a job and you do it as best as you can plus the boy is always wearing a mask all the time so you can't really see me smile you can go to the extreme end and maybe think about compassion fatigue where you give you give you give then it starts draining you, you are tired all the time, just nothing more to keep. Another instance of innocence missing experience is when you first hear about the role of a physician associate. Go to the NHS website and you are told they are part of the MDT, generalist medical practitioners, supervised by a doctor. All this spill, you are going to go and you contribute in a meaningful way. But slowly, you realize you just walked onto a battlefield. You didn't even know there was a fight going on. When you go onto the NHS website, they don't tell you there is a bit of attention. It's not the fault of any physician associate how doctors are treated. Constant passion on the new, their salaries, pensions, some doctors after they graduate medical school they are unable to get places for foundation training and there is this long reserve list it's not the fault of any physician associate you notice this tension and you ask yourself if person had known that the medical landscape is not as shiny as it seems would people still embark on a journey knowing you are going there thinking you are going to contribute sole purpose in your head but then you go in and you realize some people will treat you not based on your skill set not based on what you are doing as a clinician but based on a preconceived notion they have of your role in general a dismissal a priori i say this because there are instances where i've seen a patient because with my supervisor if i agree that referral might be necessary six times out of ten referral is accepted and there is no problem other times the sassy reply you get it just makes you think like bro one could make the argument referrals can sometimes be rejected and there is no need to take it personal that is true but check this out at this particular incident i'd seen a child i discussed that with my supervisor called the pediatric team a b and c they should be seen as soon as i dropped i'm a physician associate the whole tone changed i've had this with mental health teams biochemistry it just doesn't make sense one instance my supervisor was standing behind me and she was surprised the way the sho reg whoever it was was speaking it was not based on the clinical information i was giving her. to a physician associate and therefore just have one brain cell wiggling in your head come on man it's hard being in the hospital and it's difficult a lot of stress we all appreciate that it doesn't take a lot just to be cordial nobody is asking you to sing the praises of anyone just be cordial no need to be condescending this it's annoying sometimes that is when innocence of i'm coming to do my job is experience of sometimes some people are just not going to like you just because you appear i think as physician associates we just have to learn to live with it you cannot please everyone that is the conclusion i've come to just make sure you are doing your best within the scope of practice if folks don't like you just because you're a physician associate let it be it's a bit of a rant, but hey, innocence, you meet the experience one day and they don't always align. So boy, you'll see, and I'm out. Salute!